Hey everybody, it's Ben with ElectroSmith. Today we have a video for you on setting up your first project in C++ on the DAISY platform. Before we get started, make sure you've watched our last video on setting up your dev environment and have gone through that process yourself. Also, make sure you follow along on the new project wiki page as you watch this video. We'll have links to both of those down in the description. First, we'll install Python 3. We'll need this later to run our helper script. If we're on Windows, it's really important that we install Python using this method and not from the Windows Store. The Windows Store version will not work. We'll follow this link to the Python website. Next, I'll follow this link since I'm on Windows. And I'll download and install the latest stable release. On OS X, we can launch a terminal window and run the command brew install python. You might have to enter your password along the way. To create a new project, we'll first open a terminal window. On Windows, this is git bash. On Mac OS, this is simply terminal. Next, we'll move into our daisy examples folder. In the last video, we placed it here. So we'll cd, or change directory, into that location. Next, we'll run the helper script. We'll put dot slash helper dot py to run the script. Next, we'll put create and the name of the folder we'd like to create. I'm gonna go with dot slash my projects slash example project. Finally, we'll put the name of the board we're gonna target dash dash board. And for this video, I'm gonna go with pod. The other valid examples as of now for this field are seed, pod, patch, field, petal, and versio. This list will get longer as more boards are added. You can see the current list of supported boards by running dot slash helper dot py dash dash help. This command also lists lots of other useful information about using helper dot py. Finally, we'll hit enter and generate our code. Next, we'll launch VS Code so we can write some code and flash it. First, we'll go to the menu and choose File, Open Folder, and choose the Example Project folder we just created. Make sure to click Yes, I trust the authors. Next, we can double click on ExampleProject.cpp to see the code that the script generated for us. For the purposes of this video, we'll be writing a simple blink example. First, we'll create a variable to keep track of whether the LED is currently on or off. I'll call this LED state, and I'll initialize it to true. Inside our infinite loop, I'll set the LED to the current LED state, wait 500 milliseconds, and then flip the current LED state. Why don't we flash that and see if it works? We'll run terminal task build all to make sure that our libraries are built, just in case. Be sure to wait for libdaisy to finish building before continuing. To flash your code, plug in the USB cable. Then press boot, reset, and release, reset, boot. Next, we'll run terminal task build and program DFU to flash our daisy over USB. And as we can see, the LED is happily blinking away. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. We'll also have links to our Slack group and to the forum in the description, which are excellent resources if you have any questions at all about the daisy or if you just want to get involved with the community. Thanks for watching. See you later.